Okay, so we got a new rental car at the airport in Buffalo, and we returned the car, and now we're walking across the border. And going to the and beautiful Niagara Falls. And then we're gonna do what with the car? We're gonna gonna go to Florida. We're driving all the way down to Florida. <laughs> So the reason why we decided to drive all the way from Buffalo, New York to Florida is because we found that the flights were gonna be a lot less leaving from Miami to get to the country of Panama. And so when we were looking online at our flight options to get from the north all the way south, we found that if you did a one-way car rental, we got like the most amazing deal. It was only $8 a day for the car rental. And sometimes what happens is, is they need to get the vehicles from the north all the way south. And so for those $8, we were able to drive all the way down $8 a day, and then we extended it for a week. So we were able to stay a week in Florida, get some work done, get some fast internet uh, before we go all along on our journey onwards. When I come back here to America, I sometimes am like, I just want to live here because it sounds silly, but the laundry selection is huge. And then like they have my old slipper bag and like all those, it's like it's home, right? And laundry is a big part of what we do on a daily basis. So all those smelly cleaning products that are good for you, but I do miss them. We're going a little chip crazy. We got Tostitos, we got smart popcorn that makes you very intelligent. Sun chips, I miss these. These we got, what are these? Hello peanut, that's kind of Pretzel chips. Yeah, we get those. So far, we got a lot of junk though. Look at this. Cookies. That's Tyler. I got the chocolate, and it's already happy. <laughs> Who's the cashier here, girls? Hello, man. Are you the cashier today, Chloe? Julia, you're the one doing your grocery shopping. <laughs> the highway near Savannah we found a sign for Switzerland so we're gonna go check out what the Switzerland is all about see how it compares do you think we're gonna see mountains no well the vegetation is very filled with trees but it doesn't really look like Switzerland at all see the kind of trees it is remember that mossy stuff that hangs from the trees this is exactly what it looks like same so clearly Switzerland is a small little place in the middle of nowhere, according to this road. Look at where we... Feels like we're in some African country right now, but we're not. And the girls feel like there's going to be a lion that's going to jump out at us. Why would there be a lion jumping out? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Feels like that, doesn't it? Feels yeah, like... it just it reminds me of like... We're on a safari again. Here we go. So one thing that makes it look a little bit like Switzerland is the train track. So they do have a train that goes through. You can feel the humidity, it's really hot, and we just drive in Fort Lauderdale. Here we go. <laughs> Got a big kitchen. Huge, nice. It's really nice for a small Okay. Because it's like nice and perfect. I think that's next door. That's another room. Oh. So, you're going to have a shower? No. No, it's true. So, is a dishwasher? It's like, it comes fully equipped. Coffee. Huge fridge. Da 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 da. 
huge freezer. <laughs> I know that's not huge to a lot of people. That's huge after you've been living in Europe for a long time. What would be really surprising is if it had laundry facilities, which I really doubt, but it would surprise me. Clay, I'm not sure if you have extra bed sheets, but let me look. So sometimes I stress a little bit about the whole homeschooling thing because it is a lot of pressure and I do work. So in and amongst my regular work and then when we're traveling, we're making videos and then um, just the, the responsibility, the head responsibility of having to have them up to date with all their school, it gets a little stressful. And so as we were driving down, so we drove all the way from Canada, all the way down to Florida can imagine yes it's doable with kids and it's totally easy we've done it for many years with our kids when they were really small but on the way down they were watching movies right because that's what kids do on Netflix and whatever they downloaded and I kept saying girls like get your homework done do do some schoolwork and whatever and then um, Chloe picked up a book along the way about what was it dolphins and sharks right Chloe mm -hmm. and so sometimes I joke because people are like oh you guys are world schooling well I'm gonna call this hell health no what would I call it I'm gonna call this self-schooling because Chloe self-schooled herself yesterday without me asking she read a whole book and then show me what you wrote Chloe just kind of see the pages like open it up she wrote a whole report look at this this is without me asking it goes on about the dolphins this is just the one this is one on dolphins so she just decided and she was up late last night till midnight writing her report in the car and on the way here so you guys want to hear a little bit about it? Should we share them with them? Sure. And she lost a tooth along the way, right? No. Yeah, in Canada you lost a tooth. So here's a little extract. Here's your, we'll do this, we'll call this your oral report. This is your oral report for mm -hmm. your project. Okay. A book I just read in one day. The book I just read was very interesting because it was all about sharks and dolphins. Now let me tell you all about it. Okay, first I'll, I re, I'll read you about dolphins. There are so many kinds of dolphins, but I'll tell you the size of an Amazon river dolphin. And that's a little extract about my report. Good job, Chloe. I guess I shouldn't worry that much when they're self-schooling themselves and doing their own thing. Now to get, I need to get on Angelique and Julia to see if they'll like impress me with some kind of cool report like this. Welcome to 